Hello, everyone. My name is Tiffany, and on behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, it is my pleasure to walk you through this video series on filing the Colorado Tobacco Products Returns using Revenue Online. This is video one of three in the series, Filing a Complete Colorado Tobacco Products Return. You can pause or rewind this video at any time to review the information provided. Before we get started, make sure you have everything that you will need to file your return successfully. A Revenue Online Login with access to your tobacco account. If you do not have a Revenue Online Login, pause this video and watch the video titled, How to Set Up Revenue Online Access Business Tax Account. Your Electronic Funds Transfer or EFT information to make your payment. For more information on using EFT for payment, please visit our website at tax.colorado.gov slash electronic funds transfer. Ensure all of your purchase and sales information is separated by modified risk and non-modified risk goods. More information on modified risk products is available on the FDA website at fda.gov slash tobacco products slash advertising and promotion slash modified risk orders. Your moist snuff schedule. If your filing includes moist snuff products, pause this video and watch video three of this series, completing the moist snuff schedule. If you need information on filing a no activity or zero return, pause this video and watch video two of this series, filing a no activity or zero tobacco products return. Start by logging in to the Revenue Online portal at colorado.gov slash revenue online. From the homepage, locate the tobacco products account. The most recent filing period will be shown in the upper right corner. To file for the current period, click file return. To file for any other filing period, navigate to the account header and click File, Amend, and View Returns and Payments. On the next screen, identify the period that you are filing for and click File Now. This will bring us to the tobacco return. If you had any Roll Your Own or RYO tobacco that was purchased or credited, check the box in the return for RYO tobacco. Then enter all of your information for modified risk and non-modified risk tobacco products in their respective columns. For line one, enter the total gross purchases of non-modified risk and modified risk products at the manufacturer's list price. Line one is used to report all items listed under imposition of tax in part three of the tobacco products guide. Please note that the manufacturer's list price is the invoice price for which a manufacturer or supplier sells a product to a distributor and is determined without regard to any discounts or other price reductions allowed by the manufacturer or supplier. If the sale, use, consumption, handling, or distribution of any tobacco product is exempt from state taxation under the U.S. Constitution or federal law, then they should be reported as exempt sales on line two. Exempt sales must be based on the manufacturer's list price, not the sales price. If applicable, enter credits on line six through nine. Again, the credits must be based on the manufacturer's list price, not the sales price. If the payment and or return are submitted after the due date, Penalties and interest will be calculated when your return is posted to your account. If an additional amount is due, you will receive a statement by mail. Once all information has been entered, click Next. Step 2 is for the Moist Snuff Schedule. Moist snuff is any finely cut, ground, or powdered tobacco that is not intended to be smoked but does not include any finely cut, ground or powdered tobacco that is intended to be placed in the nasal cavity. If you are reporting moist snuff products, pause this video and watch video three in this series, 
completing the Colorado Moist Snuff Schedule. Once your Moist Snuff Schedule is complete, or if you do not have any Moist Snuff to report, scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Next. Review all information that has been entered. If all of the information is correct, click Submit. You will be required to enter your Revenue Online password to complete your submission. This will bring you to the confirmation screen. Clicking Printable View will bring up a PDF of the return that was just filed that you can print or save for your records. Clicking Make a Payment will take you to the Payment Options screen. Remember, EFT payment is required. For more information on using EFT for payment, please visit our webpage for EFT at tax.colorado.gov slash electronic funds transfer. Congratulations on filing your tobacco products return. There are a variety of resources and tools available to you if you find you need additional support. The Colorado Department of Revenue aims to make complex tax information easy to understand to enable accurate and on-time tax filings. All values used in this video are for illustration purposes only, and tax rates are subject to change over time. Also note, a return is required to be filed quarterly even if no tax is due. On behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, Taxation Division, Education and Training, thank you for watching this video and thank you for being tax compliant.